Hey everybody, yeah, it's me Gerard again. Yeah, I'm back with another one. Hope you guys are having a good day and hope you're enjoying these videos. Uh, today, well, everybody's been hounding me about wanting to see the rest of this room. The whole thing, where I do the work, what it is, everything. So, uh, the room is about 16 feet wide and 28 feet long. Uh, well, after I bought this house, I redid this all down here into the one big room. Did all the drywall, the woodwork, the paint, and the carpet, the drop ceiling, the lighting, everything. Uh, that's what I did. That's what I knew. But let me start showing you around. And we'll see if I can keep this one a little shorter for a change. All right. Uh, yeah, you guys have seen all of this in a couple of videos now. So, and yeah, I still have this table set up right here. Real convenient right there. It's a fold-up table I can take down <laughs> when I've got nothing to do, which isn't very often. These two guys are still here, but they'll go out Monday. The guy on the right, the desktop that's lit up, I found some more RAM for. So that's going to turn out to be really nice. That's the one with the HDMI and everything, the Lenovo. So, here... Got a big lazy boy recliner for the wife when she comes down to visit and hang out. And then let's see, we'll get on around over here. All right, yeah, that's the back of that table. No need for wire management. And then there's a bookshelf and an old Harmon Cardin stereo that still works. Turntable, everything. And Blue Dolphin designs. My wife decorated some of this. And another rocking chair. And then we get on over here to this cabinet. And on these shelves, uh, two of these are getting fixed to be go out also. And uh, yeah, that's right. Remember, I give them the needy people. But the guy on the left is one I'm playing with, that Del Vosh Road 220. I've got three operating systems on three separate hard drives. Windows 10 on one, Linux Mint, and Linux Zorin 10 that I've been playing around with and experimenting with. Works pretty well too. Uh, you gotta put them on separate hard drives or they kinda contaminate each other. And you end up losing the separate boots. Then the RT over there, that's got an ASUS motherboard and AMD processor in it. Uh, it crashes once in a while. I got to figure out what it is before I get rid of it. And then there's a Dell, I think, 531 down there. And that's Intel dual core. That one's just about ready to go. I just got to, you know, run it and test them. I run them straight through for about three straight days, make sure nothing happens. And we'll move on around over here if I don't get unplugged with this cord. And you're looking at now... Cord, come on. Come on. There we go. So, yeah, we're still going. <laughs> Over here, that's one I picked up for $3. That's a big old thermal take uh, soprano case. And uh, I picked it up. It had just um, the case and power supply. And it's got the door that opens with the DVD and it even has a floppy in it. And I've got uh, just another old motherboard I threw in there with a dual core for now to fool around with. But I've been doing some modding in here. The inside is all that battleship gray or silver, whatever you call it. Well, I've been blackening some out, putting in some of them plastic pieces I've been working on. And uh, the only red light in there is the one off the motherboard. It reflects pretty good through it. And I got it running. Because I had to do some updating and stuff. Next to it is another old Dell. Uh, I just about got it. It hangs a little bit on the boot. I've got to straighten out the boot drive in it on the BIOS. That's all and it'd be fine. But it's running Windows 10. It's about 3 hertz dual core. That'll make a good computer for somebody. And the desk. Well. A neighbor was moving out. Didn't want it anymore. Was going to throw it out. So I grabbed it, and I put some wheels on it, and it's a rolling workbench like now. 
So that makes things convenient when I got to move stuff in and out or hooking up wires and everything or whatever I want to do. Then I just got a table over there full of old motherboards, processors, cables, all kinds of stuff. Another monitor. I got another monitor underneath here. I got a little test monitor underneath there for HDMI. And then over here is another L bench. Uh, see if I get around better, but yeah. Here's the pool table I talked about, slash workbench. As you can see, I got the plastic and stuff out here we've been playing with. And a couple of fans I took out of one and replaced them in. So let's get on around here and see if I can get you a better shot at this. So see how far this thing will go. I've only got so much USB extension. But let's see, what do we got here? All right. Uh, a little more. There you go. All right. Over here, I've got this 24-inch Dell monitor. I picked it up at Goodwill for $10.87. Works great. Then I got a Dell Optiplex. It's running good. It's running Windows 10. But it came with a card. It's like a business model where you can run dual monitors off of it, off of DVI. Worked fine with Windows 7, but not compatible with 10. So I haven't decided what I'm going to do with that yet. But this guy over here, this is the first computer I ever built. I told you that November 15 months ago is when I turned my first one on. The following June on Father's Day is when this got built. And I bought this case and power supply at Recycle for $3.00. And the reason I bought it, because I knew I was going to build one, and I wanted something big I could get my hands in and see what the hell I was doing. But I scrounged parts up from other computers, what people gave me and stuff, found a motherboard, found a processor, AMD, it's an Asus motherboard, found four gigs of RAM for it, put it all in here, wired it up, threw in a hard drive, it has a DVD in it, and, uh, Got a floppy in it too. <laughs> it's old. And it took me about four hours. And but in four hours I had it all done. Running Windows 7. Oh my monitor's going. That's alright. That's one of them three dollar ones I've had for over a year. Been acting up, doesn't want to start all the time. But uh yeah. <coughs> That's all right. I'll find another monitor for it. And then down underneath here, you can see where I got a bunch of scrap cases and stuff. I've been, you know, digging stuff out of. I got another monitor. I could throw it up there. There's another monitor over there. And then over here in this cabinet, which is a mess, but I got, oh, God, keyboards, mice, cables, BGA, DVI, HDMI, SATA. Everything thrown in there. And then these two computers here were given to me. The one on the left won't do better than XP. It was a cheap model back then, plus it's old. The graphics is terrible. No sense going any further. Now the other one here, the gray one. No, it takes Windows 7. It'll play YouTube and videos and stuff. It'll do all of that. So I'll find a home for that. And in the bottom down here, I got all kinds of hard drives old IDE stuff, and uh, DVDs, and floppy disks, and cable, more cables, and then as you can see on top, there's a string of monitors, and in the side cabinet there, I got power supplies, uh, all kinds of stuff, PCI cards for Ethernet, but the reason I have all these monitors and keyboards and mice and speakers, well, you know I give these things to the needy. That's what I do. I get them, clean them up, get them run, and I give them to the needy. Well, they don't have anything. So when I give them one, if they don't have it, they get it all. Keyboards, mouse, monitor, speakers, and the PC. So... A lot of this stuff has been given to me. A lot of these monitors were given to me, and 
I think I told you guys once, I probably in the last year now have given away over 30 of them. So people have been pretty generous. And uh, old laptops in there. I think the one run on top runs, it's XP. But uh, then we go over here and that's the hallway. Yeah, that goes to my big two-car garage. I got a pretty big two-sectioned off garage. And over to the side there, you see another door. Well, that's the master. That's another uh, bathroom, full bath, and everything. This cabinet here, yeah, it's got computer stuff in it, and uh, a vacuum. You see, the wife makes me keep the place clean, and uh, but it's got a lot of my stuff from the days of when I was shooting shells, cleaning stuff, pool sticks, compound bow. And then we go on over here, and you see another chair. Oh, I got to mail that package tomorrow for my wife. It's going to New York. And then I got a 55-inch TCL TV. Yep. Uh, the back lights on the one side are out. Though. That's why if you saw it over there on that desk over there, TV parts, yeah, I'm going to try to use them back lights in this one. But... That's really tricky stuff, and I'm going to make sure I'm in the right mood before I go taking that apart. It'll go on the pool table so I can lay it flat. The cabinet, cable box, and yeah, there's a desktop hook to that one, too. Hooked up wireless, wireless keyboard, mouse, and HDMI into the TV. And then, let's see, clocks, decorations. My wife loves that picture. Oh, my God, she loves it. She's had it forever, too. Then there's a big old couch down here that opens up to a queen-size bed. So when we have company and we need another bed, they come on down here. I open that up, and they got their own bathroom and everything. Makes it really cool. And here we are coming back again. And, you know, there's the setup you guys have always seen. And, uh... I haven't found much reason to change it yet. It's been treating me pretty good. But, uh, here, let me sit down. But, uh, but what's new, guys? You've been making an old man real happy. Love all the comments and everything. This is great. I've gotten a chat with guys, oh, God, all over the world. Uh, there's a guy, I can't remember his name. He lives in, uh, I want to say it's macadamia. Uh, oh, we chatted for a couple of hours the other day. That was really cool. And uh, I think he's, he's going to start putting videos back up again. He hasn't put any up in about a year or so. I think I'm hoping he does. And a few others I've talked to. I mean, these are really good people, really nice people. These are kind of people I want to go out on YouTube and find. And... Uh, but I also want to give another shout out to Carrie Halzeman. Man, that guy helped me so much in the beginning. Learning how to build PCs. And he's been helping me with a RAM problem I had. Really nice guy. Got a lot of patience. For you guys who were looking to build your first one, you got to go look up Carrie. He's very slow and meticulous and tells you everything. He doesn't rush through the builds. He explains everything. What's what? What does what? Very good. He's been at it for over 30 years. And uh, he doesn't even need his YouTube channel. So, but, uh, but like everybody else says, and I say it now too, please like, subscribe, share, and comment. Share, because you guys are sharing, and I'm getting to meet a lot of people. This has really been great. And let me know what you want to know in the next one. People want to know what I did before I started with turning with computers. But uh, I'm 65 years old. How far back do you want to go? What parts do you want to know about? Put it in the comments. Let me know. And I'll, I'll work out a video or two about it. Whoever gets the most comments, they'll get theirs first. And then we'll work our way down from there. Or if there's anything else you want to see. All right, then. Well, you all have a good day, and thank you so much for watching, and you guys have a good one.